Tour of Love. Listen to Ready Room for Fun. Hello, good day to everyone. This is Brother Boo. And uh, I would like to share with you about the queenship of Mother Mary. And this is the most common issue from the Protestant that uh, we don't like. When I was a Protestant before, we opposed this kind of teaching because there is no queen in heaven. But if you try to study about typology, that's what I have said before, that uh, when we interpret the Bible, we should interpret the Bible according to its context, its typology, geographically, tradition and culture, so that we might understand the true meaning and the right interpretation. And this is what we call hermeneutics or exegesis. So before we start, I would like you to uh, pray. Let us pray together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, we thank you for your goodness to us. Give us more wisdom and understanding about the queenship of Mother Mary. Because we believe that uh, as we continue to ponder, we might know more or we will go deeper about the dogmas of our Mother. We thank you, Father God. And Mother Mary, continue to intercede us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, the queenship of Mother Mary. Why is it that the Catholic declare that Mary is the Queen of Heaven? Where can we find in the Bible or even in history or secret literature that speak about the queenship of Mother Mary? Now, since we believers in the Lord, since we are Catholic, we believe in the Bible, then let us try to check the Bible once again. One way of interpreting the Bible is that by applying typology study, meaning uh, what is written in the Old Testament, it happens in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, it was an anticipation, but in the New Testament, it is a realization. So let us try to look at especially the king Solomon or the king of Israel before a famous a well-known king because of his wisdom because of his knowledge his kingdom his name spread all over Middle East now there was an order from the king Solomon that it is only him can set down his throne and anyone who is trying to to oppose this kind of a uh, law and if you want to sit or sit uh, on his throne of course you will be killed you will die or you will be uh, annihilated by the soldiers of King Solomon that is the order it was early in the morning when King Solomon entered into the temple the temple that he he made for the God when he entered into his th the temple he found out that there is someone who seated on his throne but later on, he rea realized and began to understand that it was his mother, his mother Bathsheba. At the time, because there was a uh, disobedience of the law, and it was his mother who sat down on the throne, supposedly his mother will be killed or will be executed. But because King Solomon's mother seated on the throne, all the law, the law about the uh, the one if you sit down there so all laws regarding uh, if you want to sit down was, was abolished was being cancelled because the one who sat on the throne is her mother and what does he said in first king chapter 220 instead he get anger but what he did what he said is that he said to his mother my woman and my queen Ito ang sinabi niya, seated on the throne at my right hand. Anong ginaknowledge niya? My woman and my queen. King Solomon is the type of Jesus Christ. The shadow and type of Jesus Christ that is yet to come in the New Testament. And Bathsheba, the mother and queen of King Solomon is the type, is the shadow and type of the Blessed Virgin Mary that is yet to come. 
in the New Testament, when Jesus Christ appeared because of her mother, because her mother said, Yes, I will accept the challenge of the angel. Be it unto me according to your word. So everything was changed. The plan of God, the plan of God was continued through the life of Mother Mary because of her acceptance. So, ano nangyari? Si Jesus ay nagkatawang tao. Since Jesus Christ is the second Adam, Adam, meaning to say also that Mother Mary is the second Eve. If Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, of course, Mother Mary is the Queen of all Queen. Ganun lang. Anong sinabi ng angel? Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit, thy womb, Jesus. You cannot separate Mary from Jesus Christ. They are both blessed. They are both holy. If Jesus Christ is King, of course, Mother Mary is Queen according to the type of study that I just shared a while ago. And not only that, in the book of Revelation chapter 12, sabi ni John, and I saw the temple of God, the heavens open, and I saw the temple of God. And what he saw is that he saw a woman who's about to deliver the baby was crowned with 12 stars and clothed like a sun, like the sun, the cloth of righteousness, and found out later that it was Mother Mary who appeared in the sun, was being exalted and crowned with crowns. The crown of uh, being a queen of heaven. So, biblical ba? It is biblical. Yes. According to the Catechism of our Catholic faith, or Catholic Church, in paragraph 966, after Mary finished all his uh, life here on earth, or ministry here on earth, earth she was called up, assumed, body and soul, by the power of God. By the power of God. Nag-assume siya doon, papuntang langit. And she was exalted by the Lord as queen over all things. So meaning, siya talaga ay queen. And what does Mary did until now? She continued to pray for us as our intercessor, as queen of heaven, and our intercessor. He intercedes. He prayed for us. While He was here on earth, She intercede. In the book of John chapter 2, Anong sinasabi doon? Nang naubos na yung wine, Anong sinabi ni Ma Mama Mary? Pumunta siya kay Jesus sa sinabihan niya ang kanyang anak. Anak, yung wine natin ay ubos na. Anong sinabi ni Jesus? Woman, this is not yet my time. But, because of you, you are my mother. I will perform the miracles. I will change water into wine. This is it. In other words, it is only the mother of God. It is only Mother Mary can change the plan of God. So why not? Why will you not pray and ask for intercession of the mother? Bakit hindi tayo pupunta kay Mama Mary and ask for intercession and pray? Mother, help me. I am uh, in a desperate situation right now. Since you are the mother of God, you can change. You can change the plan of God. And because of you, God will answer our, your, our, our prayer will be answered by your son because of you. So why not? Let us come to her because the Bible says that she was overshadowed by the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit abide in her. She become the habitation of the, 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 the Holy Spirit. So meaning, God is with Mother Mary and even until now, she's seated at the right hand of the Lord Jesus Christ. She was with her son. In which you and I, when we come to her in rosary and prayer, God will answer our prayer through Mother Mary. Thank you, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. This has been Brother Boo. And uh, I am blessed because many people is listening right now and uh, i believe something good is going to happen to us just continue to pray the rosary continue in prayer and uh, i believe something good that is going to happen to us so be a seed pit seed faith partner of this ministry 
uh, I will include that sa screen natin. I will put on how to become a seed faith partner so that you will be blessed. And thank you. God bless us all. This is your brother, Brother Boo, your power online. Amen.